Yo, what's up? I'm Jay Sean, and we're here in sunny LA. And welcome to a day in the life of myself, Jay Sean. I'm about to start my day by going and getting my Audi R8 for a service. So I will catch you in a bit. Peace. I'm on yours tonight. Jay Sean. Got a feeling that I can't deny. This is real bad. Everything about you gets me high. Girl, I want this for the rest of my life. I'm all yours. Okay, okay, okay. Success. Okay, okay, okay. Girl, I want this for the rest of my life. I'm all yours. Alright, so we're here now um, at, the, at the Audi um, dealership to get a little yeah, service done. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get my hair cut now because shit's yeah, going a little long under here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get my cut. Um, for the last sort of five years, I've had a, a just literally a, a fade, a crew cut, so it's all been. Now we've got a little length in here, and uh, I don't know what the fuck to do with it. So, Emilio over here is the expert, world famous stylist. I've moved to America now. Uh, I live here. Um, I just am a firm believer that you know you can't do things in halves. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna do it, do it, do it fully. And my my career is here in America. That's where it's at. You know, um, Cash Money is based in America, and um, I have meetings with them you know, pretty much every week, you know what I mean? So I've got to be here, flying back and forth is just crazy. Plus, you know, the promo and the interviews and, you know, all the radio stuff, it's all here, man. So I've moved my life here. The way it happened was, um, I, I was working with a producer out here in, in New York, and um, they're, they're called, the, the, the producers are called OFM. And um, I was working with them, just got a wicked vibe going. You know, I met them on my travels and I was like, yo, you know, I like your stuff. And they were like, yeah, we're based in New York, you should come out and do some work. I was like, yeah, all right. So I came out to New York and I started doing some work with them. And um, he had done some work previously for Cash Money. He was like, you know what, man? He's like, I really want Cash Money to hear your stuff. I just, I just think it could work out here. So, um, you know, they got in contact with Cash Money, sent them some of my videos sent some of my music and then next thing you know they were like yo we're feeling what you're doing let's fly you out to Miami let's have a meeting and then we met got on really well they listened to all my other songs they watched my videos and they were like yo we want to put you out here in America we want to give you a deal it was literally that simple I think it's funny how there, there has been this influx now since I came out here and had my success and I think that's because on the whole I think a lot of I'm just going to say it how it is, I think a lot of UK record companies are scared um, of bringing their artists out to America because um, it costs a lot of money and once they saw the, the success that I had and then you know Tyo came over and he had some success and then Tiny came over and he had some success I think now they're all like let's go to America <laughs> it's time for the Brits and I think yo you know if it hap it's the way it happens you know there's timing for everything and uh, listen Adele came in didn't even try to break America. She just took that place. She just took this place by storm because she had, she had the music. She had the talent. She's got the voice. There's no gimmicks attached to it. It's just she's just amazing at what she does. And you know, I think it's I think it's great for us, for England, um, that we're you know making a name for ourselves out here. I didn't always know I was going to be in this game. Um, you know, I actually thought I was going to go on to. Um, I was, you know, I was again, man. Look in school. I worked hard, you know what I mean? I, I, got, I got my grades and I got, my, I got into medical school and um, I did two and a half years of medicine, you know? And, and I thought my life was set. I thought I was gonna be a doctor and that was it. Um, and of course, fate had uh, other plans for me, you know? And, um, and, and music was something that I always loved. It was my hobby, but I didn't ever really think realistically it was gonna be my, my career. You know, it's 
it's nice for me to sort of just go and do a little low key. That's, that's like my break away from everything. That hour or whatever I get to work out is just like mind switches off, away from everything, just on my own. This game is so it's so competitive, you know, there's so many people who who want to make it and unfortunately now in this day and age it's not just about whether you can sing, it's, it's the whole package, you know what I mean? It's how you look, it's how you present yourself, it's how you speak in interviews, it's how you dance. I can't dance, so I've got to do this. and this is my cheat sheet. Alright, we are done. Thank you so much. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, so just finished that interview. Amazing, she was, she was real nice. Um, it's always nice when you get you know someone bubbly and fun to sort of do interviews like that with. So that just you know feels like a chat, not really an interview. So that's fun, I like I like doing stuff like that. Anyway, I am off and on to the next. Alright, so I'm at home right now. Uh, I've got CNN from India coming over to do a little interview with me. So um, I'm just going to go get changed and I'll see you guys in a little. Okay, so we have some basic connect here with us in Los Angeles. We have Jay Sean and we are not in his Hello. studio. No. What? We're in my kitchen. So what are you going to make for us? Hmm. Let me see my many uh, cuisines that I like to make. Are you going to make something basic for us? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, I think, uh, I think I'm not gonna make any more tikka. No, I'm not gonna do that. Only kebabs, no gajarali sabji, no dal. I will make some chada. Okay, so one of my favorite songs which I really like of yours is Eyes on You. Will you sing two lines for us, please? Sure. Got my eyes on you, won't you bring that back to me? I got my eyes on you, it's Jay Sean and I'm making tea. <laughs> okay, so with Jay in Los Angeles and a cup of tea, this is Piali, so we're signing off. Cheers. Uh, singer Whitney Houston, one of the greatest voices of our generation. CNN has gotten confirmation from a representative has died. Whitney Houston has died. Grammy winning entertainer, 48 years old. You know, Whitney was a, a young entertainer. Uh, because because watching it live right so, now, Whitney Houston. So amazing people said, hey, listen, um, I wanted to sing a song that deserves Just to died, and I don't know why. To have that voice singing. It's like t literally 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, well, you hear it now. I mean, every. This is so weird. Uh, it's called so Classic, which was uh, the 
uh, and Aretha Franklin covered giving him something he could feel, and um, yeah, and it was. Uh, yeah, and you could see in both. It's a good comparison because you could hear in their voices. I think she existed at a time where music didn't have those gimmicks. It didn't have. Um, well, there was no gimmicks, man. You just had to be brilliant. You know what I mean? You had to have a great voice. You had to have great songs, and she was from that era. And um, uh, it's just, I think, the saddest thing that everyone probably thinks is that she didn't die at an, an old age. You know, when people pass away naturally at an old age, they feel like they had a full life. But uh, you know, it's, a, it's another one gone. You know what I mean? We had Michael Jackson, Amy Winehouse, and Whitney Houston now. All, seemingly drug related, it's really sad. 170 million albums. I mean that's not a joke man, there's this like there's very few people in this world who ever achieve anything like that. That's like that's not that's an icon gone of music. An icon of another icon of music gone. Legend, you know what I mean? Singer extraordinaire Whitney Houston has died. Grammy Award winning singer Whitney Houston has died at the age of 48. Okay, so um, it's like 8 30. I'm ready. Kind of like, you know, pull the little Zion Zion together. So, uh, something I found it in my cupboard, you know what I mean? It's not like I thought about this outfit for ages. <coughs> anyway, we're um, going to the to the pre Grammy cash money party. We're on a golf cart because we're making our way from the car park to the actual lot. We're actually on the Paramount lot, which is where a lot of the films get shot. What can you tell me about the album and the producers that you're working with besides the Cash Money family producers? You know what, I've been keeping it in-house. Okay. I mean, that for me, I felt was the best way to go because I kind of go by this formula like if it ain't broke, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like there's no, there's no point mixing it on plus. For me, I wanted the album to have some consistency. I wanted there to be uh, a thread of continuity through it. So it didn't feel like I got this beat off this right. guy and this beat off that guy. Right. The whole thing is a piece of work. All right. And then lastly, what, what are your thoughts on the passing of Whitney Houston at a time like this? I believe, and I, and I will go by this, that you know, music and, and what it takes to be a superstar nowadays, the level of uh, skill and talent has decreased. Right. A lot of it has become about gimmicks and this, that, and the other. Back in the day, you just needed to be able to bring it. You just needed to be able to sing. It wasn't about how you danced, how you stay, you looked, what kind of crazy outfit you're gonna wear on the red carpet. It was about can you bring it. And she was the true definition of a beautiful, beautiful voice. And we needed someone like her, you know? I think Jay is an incredible artist. Um, I think this is gonna be the biggest album he done released so far this year. So we're looking for big things this year out of Jay, man. He just shot his first single, so we're excited. Jay, my brother, that's my blood brother. I rock with Jay Sean. I salute YMCMB. We love Jay Sean, YMCMB. Yeah. Okay, so last night you joined me for the pre-Grammy YMCMB party. I hope you guys had fun. I, of course, did. This has been a day in the life of me, Jay Sean. But now, I'm out. I'll see you later. Peace.